Hello, my name is Chelsea, and if you clicked on this video, you probably already know that today is a bins haul. So I am a full-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark, and I also cross-list to eBay and Mercari when I remember. Um, however, this past week I started cross-listing consistently and eBay sales are picking up, so I need to get more consistent with that cross-listing. Anyway, today I'm going to do a Goodwill outlet haul, which is a bins haul, as some people call it, where you pay by the pound. My Goodwill outlet charges $1.39 a pound. So today I got quite a bit and I don't have my receipt here. So I'll just put here how much I paid and how many pounds it was. So you can kind of get an idea for how much you can get at the Goodwill outlet. I, in the past, have put like a little picture here for what I listed things on Poshmark in my other haul videos. And today I'm not going to do that. So if you want to see what I'm listing items for, just feel free to click the comment or the link below with my Poshmark closet for after I list things to see what I price it at. I normally price about 20% higher than what I actually want because with Poshmark, People like to get offers. So if they like something, I send them that offer, they feel like they're getting a good deal and they accept it. So I always price up on Poshmark on eBay and Mercari. I try to price a little more on market value, what the item's going for, but on Poshmark, I always price higher. So that's a little bit of my strategy right there. Um, also, it's Florida and every afternoon in Florida, it storms. So right now it's raining outside. So if you hear rain and you hear background noise, I'm really sorry. This is just the best time for me to film. So let's get started. All right, so I have two bags from the bins today. Stay tuned to the end because I got something crazy again. I always save my crazy purchase for last if you want to see it. So I bought some more lace. I got four lace um, little table setting things. You could also use these just on your dresser. It'd be really cute. Um, I got a silk scarf and you know what? I'm not sure if this one is silk because it doesn't have any tags. It might be a polyester blend, but it was just really pretty, really lightweight. So I will put that in my closet. It'll be good for people to bundle. This one I believe is silk. It's Anne Klein. It looks vintage and it is hundred percent silk and it's just a really pretty like polka dot print. All right, next I got this Victoria's Secret pink um, Gators shirt. So I could take this locally to a buy sell trade, they'd probably buy it. But since it's Victoria's Secret, I may try selling it on my own. I got some Lululemon. So this one um, got passed up by a lot of people in the bin because first of all, when new bins come out, people rush like, like, like they're mad. They like run to the new bin and they just like dig through really quick and they keep going. Um, and it's hard to, it's easy to miss Lululemon when you're digging fast because look at that, that logo is kind of hidden here, but actually I've sold a pair of pants before that were the same print. So I recognize the print right away. I'm like, oh, that's Lululemon. So I threw it in my bag without even like taking the time to look to see if it was, I just, my gut was telling me it was. So then later when I sorted through my cart, sure enough, it was Lululemon. So I was happy with that. And I found another one in the bin right across from it in this pretty blue color. So that was exciting. And this logo is much more prominent. So let me see if there's a size die. Yeah, these are a size six. I'm thinking the other one's the same size. I just, normally when you find stuff close to each other, it's usually like the same person who donated it. So same size, I'm guessing, but let's see. Um, Yeah, size six as well. I think I will list those separately, but I hope someone bundles them because that'd be really cool for someone to get both of those tops. I'm hoping to get around at least 25 a piece for those. Um, I'll probably price higher, but that's what I'm hoping to get for them. I got this ASOS dress and I didn't look up comps. I just grabbed it. I think it's cute and it's my size if it doesn't have good comps. <laughs> so it's just like this little, I think it'd be the cutest little beach cover up and it has like an asymmetrical hemline. So hopefully that does well. I just noticed there was a tiny little hole near the armpit, but it looks like it was like the tag hole. All right, I got these mostly for myself because you know when you like heat up a bowl, for me I actually don't have a microwave. So if I wanna heat up leftovers, I put it in the oven in my Fiesta Wear bowls and they are really hot when they come out. So anyway, you put the bowl inside of this and then you can hold it like, you know, for when you're eating like soup on the couch <laughs> and it keeps it, from burning you but anyway my mom makes these 
and I was just like, oh, look, some already pre-made and it's a cute color. So I'm keeping them. <laughs> All right, next I got this vintage sweater. The brand is Robert Arthur, which doesn't really mean anything to me. I just liked this style. It's a cute little cardigan. It has like this little black detailing there and it has a union label on it, which usually means it's 80s or older. So I'll have to look into exactly when this one's from or at least get a general ballpark idea but it's just really cute open front cardigan i really like the style of it all right now this is a free people cardigan now it's a little worn it has some pilling and distressing but i've noticed in the past that people who some people who buy free people it's like wild fox sometimes they don't really mind if it has some pilling so anyway i've sold it this probably won't go for much this will probably go for like 25 bucks if i'm guessing correctly just because of all the pilling but i don't know if you can tell it just has some pilling to it but it's like a really long like duster style cardigan it's really pretty i like the color for fall i got these hannah anderson sleeper pjs they're zip front and they're just really cute i'll probably donate those to the crisis pregnancy center near me all right, this is Fabletics, and it's just like a little mini skirt. Um, I didn't look up comps for this because I just like selling Fabletics, but what I'll do is I'll type in that style number there. I'm hoping to get probably around 20 bucks for this. We'll see. All right, <laughs> this was something I like almost put back with, and I was like, no, I really like it. I just got this because I personally like the style. If it fits me nice, I might keep it. But it's a jacket and it's just a really cute style it has like a cinched waist it has this little cinch neckline that works like a cowl neck almost and it feels like just cotton it's just really cute i think so anyway <laughs> all right this i've sold before i don't remember if i sold it to a buy sell trade store or if i sold it on poshmark but um it's just this cotton jumpsuit it's by the brand japna which is sold at like marshall's and tj maxx but um no, I've sold this before. I think I sold it on Poshmark, honestly. So yeah, I'll either list it on Poshmark or end up taking it to Close Mentor. We'll see. But it's probably only like a $15, $20 sale. So nothing like super wonderful. All right. So this I was super excited about just because the, the label looked good. And I, I'm like, I think I remember hearing people talk about this brand and like another YouTube video. Um, I'm always watching YouTube while I list because I just like to listen in the background for brand recognition. And anyway, I've heard this brand mentioned. This is a hundred percent silk top, super cute. It has like one button. So it looks like it could almost be worn like as a vest if you wanted to. And it has like this, um, what's it called? Pin pleating. I think that's what you call it. I can't remember or shirring, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, I looked up comps for this in the bins and some people had it listed for a hundred dollars. I think that's a little high. Like I saw sold for it around the $30 range. Um, so let's just say I listed around 50 and take offers. I'm not sure. I'm going to do a little more research on this, but I was really excited to find that brand. Um, just another little doily napkin thing. I just like the embroidery and I thought it was cute. My cat's coming to join me. <laughs> I love it when he does this. Like, let me just put my tail in your face. Um, I got this runner. It's um, to sell in Poshmark home goods section, but it's just this really pretty table runner. And I thought it'd be perfect for someone for fall. Like you put some little white pumpkins on it or even orange pumpkins and decorate. That'd be super cute. So, I mean, it looks brand new. The brand is nothing important that I know of. It's just cross, cross chill. It says it's New York Fifth Avenue. I don't know. We'll see but I just got it for style. I got myself this pillowcase for a pillow. I'm going to wash it. Um, there was a pillow inside of it, but I'm just kind of weird about taking pillows from the bins. So I took the pillow out and just bought the case. I have a pillow that I can put in here that was from my own house. So I'm going to wash this and then end up using that. I don't know, probably in my bedroom. I just think it's so pretty. I got this shirt for buy, sell trade stores just because I liked the print. It's just the limited and it has like a tab sleeve and it's like this really pretty heart print. If I were to sell this on Poshmark, I could probably get like 15 bucks for it. This I got because it's new with tags from Stitch Fix and it's mixed by 41 Hawthorne. I didn't really look up comps on it. I just got it because it was Stitch Fix and I figured 
I could take this to a buy sell trade store if it's not worth much. So I'll look it up. If it's worth listing, I will list it. And if not, I will um, take it to a buy sell trade. But it's like so soft. It's like buttery, wonderfully soft. So really nice feeling top. This is another thing I just threw in my cart and I didn't look up comps on. Um, but the brand label looked good. See how it's stitched down? If this is something, I'll put it over here. But if not, just know I probably am going to get around 20 25 bucks for it <laughs> but it's just this really cute straight dress with this like side ruched detail long sleeved honestly if it fits me I might just keep it it's a really cute dress I feel like it's really classy and would go with a lot of different things I got these Eileen Fisher trouser pants they're like a knit fabric um I don't see a fabric content let's see if it's over here viscose nylon and like Ly lycra I think that's how you say it but they're just these stretchy black pants. I feel like these are really versatile and would go with a lot. So hopefully those do well. I'm thinking around 30, but that's, Eileen Fisher can go for a lot if it's a newer label and less if not. So I'm not really sure how to date their labels yet. I'm not like an Eileen professional. I don't know everything about them. This I got to take to Plato's Closet. It's just a Knox Rose boho top or clothes mentor, whoever, whoever buys it first. But um, I've sold them this shirt before, and I might have actually sold this shirt in my Poshmark closet at one point. If I were to list this in my Poshmark closet, I'd probably list it for 15 bucks and just take an offer. Um, I got this skirt because I am building a little vintage shop over on the app called Object Limited. It's a newer app, and I really love it. It's like um, similar to Etsy and Depop kind of feel where people are listing quirky vintage stuff. But anyway, this skirt is just really cute because it's like um, a business skirt, but it has like these rainbow stripes in it, which I just think is so pretty. And it has side pockets too. So it's vintage and super just fun. There's no size tag. So I'm going to have to try it on and just kind of like tell them my size and then put measurements. All right, next is the these BCBG Max Azria. I don't always pick up this brand, but I did look up this particular style. They're called the Jacqueline pants while I was in the Goodwill outlet and they seem to be selling for around $30. So if I can get that much, I'd be happy. Um, but they're like wide leg trousers and they're high rise. So I figured they would, they would do decent because it seems like a newer style. All right, guys, it is never too early to start buying ugly Christmas sweaters. <laughs> At least I think so. Um, this one I just thought was a really cute, like almost grandma style Christmas sweater. And it just says, Jolly old St. Nicholas, hung by the chimney with care, dancing sugar plums, dad, dasher and dancer, and to all a good night. So just really cute little sayings in cursive with Santa Claus. And it's white, and I haven't found any stains yet. So fingers crossed I don't find any in the future. That would be really great if I didn't. Okay, just a few more things, and then I'll show you my crazy thing I bought. My wild card for the trip. It was a heavy wild card, too. So hopefully it does well. Okay, these shorts are just darling. They're they're just white stag, but they're cotton linen blend, and they're just so cute. They are like a pleated waist. I feel like this kind of goes with that um, schoolgirl trend that's kind of going around, like that old style, school style. I don't know what you call it. So anyway, cute little shorts. I better list those soon because short season is coming to an end. Um, this I grabbed right on my way out. I didn't look up comps, but it is plus size. So that made me grab it. Rachel, Rachel Roy. Um, it's just a really cute over, not oversized, but, um, flowy style dress. And it has like this cute little cinching in the back. It's got an asymmetrical hem. It's got a lot going for it. I think this would be really cute in the fall with a cardigan. I'm thinking around $25. That's always a good starting point for dresses or listing at 32 and taking an offer at 25. But I'll look up comps for that and definitely price accordingly. All right, so here's my wild card piece. Do you see it? It's fur. It's actually real leather. It's by Wilson's Leather. Let me show you the logo. It's a size medium and it's like one of those, I guess you call it like a Phoebe jacket. <laughs> Um, but it's, 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 it's real special. So it's like a leather dream with these wonderful, crazy sleeves and a fur collar. And yeah, it's in like really good condition. 
And there were others, and this smells good too, which I sniffed that thing probably three or four times in the good old outlet because I was just so afraid to bring it home and it smelled like smoke or something. That always like freaks me out. But anyway, um, I saw comps for this particular jacket listed in like the $200 range, which is a lot. But I saw sold comps, multiple sold comps for around $100. So that's why I grabbed it because I would love to sell that jacket for around $100. That would make this whole haul worth it. I would probably triple my money just in that with that jacket, more than triple my money. So anyway, that is my Goodwill Outlet haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like my shirt, I'm just going to give a little plug for my friend here, um, Brittany at Essential Endeavors. Um, I can put her Poshmark handle here if you want to look her up. I bought this from her closet. Um, they own a little shirt making business and she made this shirt for me. So I bought this and a really cute jean jacket from her. So check out her Poshmark closet. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch, especially if you made it this far. Um, consider hitting that like button. It helps this video get to more people and promotes me in the feed. I would love to have you as a follower if you want to come along and see the things I'm buying for my reselling business and what sells because I mean watching me haul this stuff is fun but you want to also see what sells. So stay tuned and I would love to have you as a friend here on my channel. Have a great day. Bye.